So now what I have is uh, my graph, which is looking uh, a little bit better in terms of uh, the, the nodes and the labels. And then as I hover over it, I can get to see uh, the, um, whether it's in or out. What we can do now is go on to the, uh, that was the unique, uh, we'll need to go on to the, uh, the, the color because we're gonna change colors. So the unique uh, option here was the color of the node. The partition, I've got a number of options, or actually just one option, and that was the ref. So if I go back to, actually I'll show you in the data lab, uh, laboratory, in the node, I have the ID and the label, and then my first segment. So red and blue, red, blue, yellow, and green. If I go back to the workspace, oops, sorry, the overview rather, uh, what uh, I, I can do is, um, oh, for some reason, the color of the background here has changed. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I choose ref, uh, and then you can see the, the various color options we've got here. Now, uh, if I click that, what will happen is that they will all change color. Um, now, I've, I've used red, blue, green, yellow as my segment. So what, what would be easy if I cl clicked on the uh, color square, hold down the mouse, uh, and then choose the color I want, I can actually change that to the colors which uh, are associated with the label. Now I'll click uh, apply again, uh, and there we go. You can see the labels, although it's quite difficult to read the blue, so um, I may put a slightly lighter blue in there. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit better. So the, the, this shows me the, the different segments uh, of uh, the, um, the the nodes that are being used. So these could be um, nationalities, say, you know, we've got um, four different nationalities out there taking part in this social network. The the ranking, you have uh, in deg or degree, in degree, and out degree uh, that you can use. So remember, uh, on the Excel chart, I'll just jump to the Excel chart and go to the overview. We had the degrees, so both in degree and out degree, and we saw seven was the highest, uh, two and five, the next uh, and the lowest uh, are 11 and 12. So if we were to choose uh, degree as the ranking, you get, uh, first of all, a color option. And what, what this is signifying is that uh, on to the left uh, is the... Um, the color associated with the lowest degree value and to the right is the color associated with the highest degree value. So when I click apply, you can see seven, uh, two and eight, or the, the uh, two and three rather, the, uh, the, the highest colors, uh, if I go back, two and five, that's what, two and five, yeah, yeah, five is, um, uh, a, a nice strong color in there. Um, what you will also uh, note is that the the ones with no labels they are the the the, the lowest color at the end there. Now they're the same shade of green, so sometimes it's a bit difficult to um, uh, to interpret. What would be better would be to get a palette which has different colors. And the way to do that is just on the right-hand side, you've got uh, some options. You've got the default, uh, the invert or the recent. Uh, let's go to the default and we'll go right to the very bottom. And then click apply. Uh, and here you can see the um, red uh, low levels of degree uh, and blue high levels of degree. And you can see that these, this is how they're, process fits within the, um, the social network. I could do the same for the, uh, the in degree. Uh, let's use uh, uh, another palette. Let's do that one there. And out degree. So depending on what you're looking at, um, you could choose various colors, oops, to represent the level of degreeness, both in, out, or uh, total. And it just helps you map the, um, the, the network. So that's the uh, options with the uh, nodes. Now, if you go to the edges, you've got the same option here. You've got the unique, the, the color of the 
edge. So if I just change that to uh, that's to green, then apply. You can see the um, the, the edges go uh, a different color. Let's go back. It's quite quite garish that. Um, let's make it blue. Okay, so we've got that blue. Then we've got the, the partition, so we can choose how we want to do. We've got ref1 and ref2. So ref1 was the, if you remember, the uh, the actual name of the uh, label. So I've put ref1 as urgent info request, etc. So rather than having the label appear, I actually find it um, uh, easier to, to view with uh, the colors. So we click on ref1 you've got uh, urgent info requests I can apply that and then you can see which of those edges are the three different options so a useful way again of very quickly seeing um, how information is being shared in the network finally I'll go to uh, the second segment within the edge now this could be something like um, affiliations to um, a political party uh, if and you can see B is a, a pinky ready color and A is a green so if I click apply that I can then see what the affiliations are for that particular network so there, there's options for you to mix and match to get the um, I suppose that the graphical representation representation that uh, most suitable for the output that you're looking to uh, to achieve. Um, ranking its weight. Now, in this instance, all the weights were one, so nothing really is going to change. So I'm not going to do anything. I, I will come back later on, and, and when I'm doing the uh, the work on the. Uh, the statistics elements go back to the weight because I'll, I'll give some some different options uh, in in this um, in this case. So we'll go back to partition and let's just do um, well. Actually, we'll, we'll leave it as that. That's fine. So that gives you uh, an idea of um, how you can get your graph from, as we saw earlier on, the uh, black nodes, labels, and um, edges to one which um, hopefully can give you a better um, sense of information in terms of what the network's trying to uh, achieve. Now, I mentioned earlier on there isn't uh, an undo option within um, Gephi. But uh, there is a, an ability to reset the colors but they all go into one so where, where it's got reset here you can see the background color there is gray so if I click on that everything goes to to gray um, the reset label colors that goes to all black or you can change the color of specific nodes by clicking on this paintbrush icon so the, the color there is red I can change it to uh, green, the next one, and make that one green. Uh, you can change the size of an icon. So I've clicked on the diamond, uh, and let's say for this one here, I hover over it, and then I use um, press on the mouse key, and as I move my um, mouse up or down, it changes the size of, of the item. I can... brush the nodes and its nearest neighbors. So if I click on that, that puts all those neighbors. So if I'm, I'm trying to uh, look specifically at um, this particular item, what I'll, what I'll do is I'll just make uh, everything gray again. So everything's gray. I'll click on that. Oops, that's uh, gray, yeah. They're, they're all red now. I can add a node to the graph. So I've clicked on that and then I can add an edge. So what I did there was click into the uh, node 
and then click into it the, the other way. I can do it the other way too, click into here and click and you can see it's, um, it's gone both ways. Um, shortest path. I, I'll come back to this because the, um, uh, the graph is quite small, the network's quite small. Uh, you can't really see the impact of um, the, the shortest path. So when I um, do uh, a more complicated social network, I will I will come back to this element here. You have the option of looking at the heat map uh, to see the intensity of uh, the, the neighborhoods. And again, because the graph is um, quite small, you can't really see the, uh, the, the, the big impact. And then finally, you can edit some of the, um, uh, the node attributes. So I could um, click on the final one and then edit the, the attributes uh, in, the, in the box here or click on that. So this gives you um, an overall idea of how you can uh, set up your graph before really you start doing the analysis and the um, statistics uh, required to give you uh, some good output for your final journal or report that you're producing within a company. I hope you found that helpful. Look forward to the, uh, the next couple of uh, sessions. Uh, which will be in the next few weeks that will focus a bit more detail about the, um, the, the layout and the, um, uh, how uh, the different options affect the, the graphs. And then I will go into more detail about the statistics. Thanks very much then. I'll see you again soon.